Yo, okay, this guy here. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to season two, episode one of Seven Reasons Why. I had a really good time making the first season of Seven Reasons Why. I think it was a pretty good hit. It was something that I was wanting to try to see if you guys liked it or not. And for the most part, I got really good comments back and really good banter and a lot of reviews from it, a lot of views from it. So we're going to do it again for season two. So this is episode number one. To kick off season two, we're going to talk about seven reasons why you shouldn't budget build your home theater. Stay tuned. Starting off, reason number seven why you shouldn't budget build your home theater is investment. You get what you put in to your home theater. Invest for what you really want. If there are some speakers out there that are a little too high in price point right now, but you really, really want them, save your money. Don't go out and get anything else just to have something because you're going to regret it in the long run. Why? It's not going to sound the way you want it. It's not going to look the way you want it. You want to wait, build your money up, and go after what you really want. That applies to life in general. But in home theater, if you want that big 85 inch TV and you only have 55 inch money, save up. Go ahead and keep what you have until you can get what you want so that once you buy something, you don't have to continue to upgrade and upgrade and upgrade. Get what you want the first time so you don't have to spend any more. Now I personally can relate to this. When I was younger, I just wanted speakers to have speakers so I continued to buy and to buy and to buy. And then I finally got what I wanted. But if I just waited a little bit longer and just waited until I had a little more money in my pocket, I could have gotten what I wanted right off the bat. But instead, I continued to try to find a speaker and then upgrade and upgrade, and I ended up spending more money in the long run than I would have if I'd just kind of been patient and got what I wanted. So guys, make sure you invest in what you want. If it's a TV, if it's speakers, if it's that couch, if it's that car, that job, whatever it is, if you just take a moment to appreciate what you have and build on what you have, then you'll save some money and you'll eventually get what you want. That's reason number seven. Reason number six is going to be longevity. When you buy budget brands or when you try to spend as little money as you can on your equipment, you may get that end result from their performance. Whether it's build quality or sound quality or how long they last, the more money you put into electronics, the usually the better. You want to put a little bit of money into it so that you know that you're going to have it for long term. Don't get something that has bad review just because it's $100 off from something else. You just go for what you know is going to last you. For example, we all know Pyle in the industry, P-Y-L-E. They're a budget type of, P a type of a manufacturer. They have really budget bad electronics and they don't last long. I personally have had a lot of Pyle products when I was younger and they didn't last me very long. They don't do what, they're, what they say they're going to do as far as ratings and stuff like that. When you buy budget, you're going to hear budget. You're going to see budget. You're going to feel budget. So you need to invest and what we're going to do for reason number seven, and then you'll find something that will give you long-term longevity. That's going to be reason number six. The fifth reason why you shouldn't budget build your home theater is going to be appearance. And that goes for the TV, how it looks, your speakers and sound system, how they look, but also goes for the rug on the floor, the hardwood, the couches, the recessed lights, all that stuff plays into a factor of how good your home theater is and how comfortable you are in there. When you go into your man cave or your living room or your home theater room or whatever it is, you want to feel, you know, at home. It's your cave. It's your entertainment center. And the appearance means a lot, especially if you're going to have people coming in and out. So get decorations. Not only do they help with acoustics, but they help with the overall feel of your room. Get a nice couch. Don't settle for anything uncomfortable. Get something that looks good and feels good. For speakers, get something that's going to match your decor. If you have a mainly white decor, get some white speakers, maybe black speakers to accent it. If you want a really nice TV, a thin bezel, you're going to have to spend a little bit of money. So make sure that you don't budget too much on what you're going to be spending because you may appear to have a budget system as well. That's going to be reason number five. Reason number four as to why you shouldn't budget build is going to be outdated. Outdated electronics, outdated TVs, outdated technology. Now we all know technology moves and moves and moves and never stops growing. As soon as you buy one thing, there's already something better out there. And that happens quickly. But if you start on the wrong foot, you're going to find yourself well behind the rest of the industry. Now, I don't mean go out and buy something every time something new happens, but you want to buy something that's going to be relatively future-proof. Nowadays, you can't really future-proof anything because something new is always coming out, but you can get really close. For example, 4K is just about the new thing now. So you want to go and seek after 4K equipment. 
4K Blu-rays, 4K TVs and projectors, because you know that 4K is going to last you and last you and last you. If you're going to budget build and go 1080p, you're going to find that eventually 1080p is going to be less and less prevalent. 4K and 1080p probably have the same amount of content now. You can stream 4K now, Dolby Atmos, all that stuff, and you can't necessarily do that on older products. You don't want to just budget build because you'll end up getting something that won't last you a long time. That's what we talked about with longevity as well. Find something that's going to last you for a long time so that you don't have to upgrade in a short period of time. Make sure that you get something that has 4K, Dolby Atmos, or the capabilities to have it, even if you don't want to use it because you never know what that might become the standard. That's going to be reason number four. Number three on this list is going to be comfort. Now we kind of touched on this, but comfort is going to be just how your room feels. For some people, it's your man cave. It's your living space. It's a dedicated room in your home. Some people, it's a getaway. You want to be able to bring people into your space and, oh, this is nice. I like what you've done with the place. Or if you really want to make it feel like a home theater, you want to get your popcorn machines, a big projector, projector screen, all that stuff. You want to feel comfortable because at the end of the day, this is in your home. This is your home theater. You want it to feel nice and cozy. You want to get a nice couch, you know, get some paint, some wall, paper, whatever makes you feel comfortable at home, get that. If you like recliners, get a recliner. If you like home theater seats, get home theater seats. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. And it's all about you and nobody else. Whatever makes you feel comfortable in your room, make sure you don't budget on that. Get something that's going to feel good to your behind. If you're going to be sitting on your couch, you want to be comfortable watching your movie. You don't want to put your TV too high where you're looking up like this all the time. You don't want to get too big of a TV where your eyes straining all the time. You're trying to figure out how you're going to watch TV with the light glaring in them. You don't want to get a too small of a TV either. And you got to sit this close to it. Get something that's going to be comfortable for you. Get something that's going to make sense for your room. Don't get too big of a couch and then you're cramped for space. Just be comfortable, guys. That's going to be reason number three. Now, reason number two and reason number one are the most important reasons and they're kind of interchangeable. But for reason number two, why you shouldn't budget build your home theater is going to be sacrificing the picture quality. Now, home theater is all about sound and all about visuals. You don't want to crap out on either of those. Get a TV that's going to support 4K, support a 1080p, all that stuff. Dolby Vision if you can, some form of HDR. You want to try to seek after as good or as close to the best as you can get. Again, for longevity, comfortability, but of course you want it to look good. If you're going to spend all your money on your home theater, you want it to look good. Get a TV that's going to be a good size for your room. It's going to give you a really good picture. Don't settle for a 1080p because it's $200 on sale. You want to go for something that you know you're going to like. That's not going to make you want to get the, the bug to upgrade very, very soon. For me, I have a projector here and I have a 1080p projector. And of course, I like having a projector, but I'm already tired of 1080p. I'm so used to 4K. I used to have an OLED in my living room. I love 4K. Going back to 1080p, it's been, it's been up and down for me. And so you don't want to get stuck there 1080p knowing that there's things out there that are better. Don't skimp out on the picture quality. That's going to be reason number two. Reason number one, guys, if you haven't guessed it already, the number one reason why you shouldn't budget build your home theater is you sacrifice on the sound. Sound is everything in a home theater. You can have the nicest couch, you can have all the movie posters, all the LED lights, the biggest projector screen you can have, but if your sound is terrible, you're missing everything. If your center channel is terrible, you're missing a lot of vocals. If your subwoofer is not good, you're missing a lot of your home theater experience. You want to make sure that you go out there and find what you want. I can't stress that enough. Get the speakers that you really, really want. Get the speakers that you know are good. Listen to them personally if you can. Read reviews and see what other people are saying. You don't want to just buy a speaker because it's on sale for Black Friday. Oh, these are not too bad. I'll get these and we'll get those some other time. Save your money up. Get what you really, really want. Your sound will sound good if you do so. You'll thank yourself when you get what you really, really want. Get what you know is good. For me, I have Polk LSIM 707s, 706C, 703, 702FX. I have the whole LSIM lineup, and those are my dream speakers. And I continue to buy speakers on my way to get here. And I spend a lot of money on things that I no longer have, and I regret it, sort of. But now I have what I want. But you can put a shortcut to that. Get something now and stick with it for a while. Put some money back in your back pocket. And once you have it, go out and get what you want. You prom I promise you guys will find a really good benefit out of that. That's going to be a reasonable one. 
All right, guys, that was seven reasons why you shouldn't budget build your home theater. Leave me some comments down below of anything I failed to mention in my list of seven. And also tell me what you guys think of the list of seven that I created for you guys. Don't budget build on everything. I'm not saying you can't, you know, save your money and, you know, buy smartly. You still want to spend your money wisely, but don't spend it on just junk, you know. So, guys, leave me comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about the seven seven reasons that I gave for you guys and list any more that you guys have for me. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and enjoy seven reasons as a whole. Hit that subscribe button while you're there. We'll see you guys in the next video. Keep this guy out. Peace.